The best part of the week for many is we're getting ready to start the Browns regular season yeah. here. Maybe a brew from the Great Lakes Brewing Company will help with that. Mm -hmm. It's the craft brewery that started it all in Cleveland, the first craft brewery in the state of Ohio. And this month, believe it or not, it turns 34. That's right, and then this year, Christmas Ale turns 30. It's a year to remember, so our Austin love sat down and even had a pint with the co-founder, Pat Conway. Right. All right, the Pat Conway. How are you, sir? Doing fine. I feel like I'm not worthy, you know. We, we appreciate all that you've done and all the brews that you've made happen here in Northeast Ohio. Just describe it in your own words what Great Lakes is. When we adopted uh, the philosophy of a triple bottom line years ago, it was not only taking care of your people, but your profits and your planet. So I think that guiding principle has really uh, taken us to another level. So we're, it's, it's way more than just making beer. It's giving back to community and taking care of your staff. And speaking of community, um, since you guys started here in 1988, just what impact have you guys had on this neighborhood and how fun has it been able to see it grow around you? One of the successes of Great Lakes Brewing is the fact that we were urban pioneers and, and um, actually turned a, a more abundant part of the city into one of the hottest neighborhoods in all of Northeast Ohio. When was the moment that you were like, we're, we're on something here, this is, this is legit, this is gonna stick? You know, everything we made, you know, it was sold like it was free. I mean, in the restaurant, we had lines around the corner. We were the only brewery, uh, craft brewery in the state of Ohio. One day we were driving to our first account, which was called West Point Market in Akron. We were uh, driving a station wagon full of beer and this car pulled behind us, was blinking its light. And I thought it was an, uh, you know, a cop with an unmarked car. And it turns out this guy goes, I see that beer, I need that beer. So he commandeered us, but he said, please be part of my, my portfolio of beers because we have nothing like this, and I hear it's such a stunning product. So you knew you were onto something when you're getting commandeered going down the interstate. I, I think when so many people, of course, think of Great Lakes, they think of Christmas Ale. And you guys are celebrating 30 years of Christmas Ale this year. You guys have literally changed the way that Clevelanders celebrate Christmas, because it's not Christmas unless you've had a Christmas sale. But actually, it's, it's, it's hysterical. I mean, people who dress up like it's Halloween. I mean, there's a Santa over there, there's a deer, there's an elf, and it's just a joy to see how excited everybody is. It just brings uh, warmth to my heart to, to know that this product is so um, embraced by the Cleveland population. Cheers, sir. You're celebrating 34 years coming up here in a few days. What, what are you most proud of? Well, I'm, we're proud of the, the, the fact that we're an instrumental in the urban renewal of Ohio City. We're also proud of the fact that we've had so many highly acclaimed products that it's not, we're not the Christmas Ale Brewing Company. Yeah. We're the Great Lakes Brewing Company. We have stunning products. And the fact that we've had uh, the opportunity to employ so many thousands of empl uh, employees over the years uh, makes us proud that we uh, have provided a good living for many people. And you've made my Friday and Saturday nights a whole lot more fun, <laughs> so I'll cheers you to that. Pat Conway, thank you so much. Cheers to you, sir. And Slancha. Cheers to all the golden heavenly brews that you've been able to brew. We appreciate you. Wow. So much fun. I was just saying, I'm not a huge beer drinker, but like you said, Christmas ale, mm. I can do. You got to get it with the sugar rim. Ooh, a sugar rim? Oh, that's the only way to have it. Okay. It's so good. Mm. Certainly. Well, Christmas ale is right around the corner. They said that you can be on the lookout for the first pour the second to last Thursday in October. Wow. Their Oktoberfest is so good. Dortmunder, Edmund Fitzgerald. You know, they have so many Everything. different flavors that, that have just kind of yeah. been woven into our lives, most certainly. Uh, and you know that the, the whole brewery over there in Ohio City is just so cool, so and cool. it's a tourist destination. A lot of people come and they want to go hang out there and have a have a pint on the patio. Just another reason why Northeast Ohio is so great. Yep, there certainly is. All right, well.